Welcome to my channel. This is my first YouTube video ever. I'm a little scared, I'm not gonna lie. I've been wanting to do this for a very long time and it was just excuse after excuse. I don't have a camera, I don't have a place to do it, and I ran out of excuses. So, I really like makeup. I have a minor compulsion when it comes to accumulating nail polish. It, Minor compulsion, could stop at any time, but I don't want to. So, uh, one of the things that I have seen a lot on YouTube is uh, people talking about the Wish app. And so I thought I would share some of my hits, misses, wins, losses when it came to using the Wish app. Again, I've never done anything like this before. And I have very bad vision. Typically, you see me with my glasses on, but as you can see here, they glare. So, the glasses come off, my vision goes away. I started getting into the world of makeup products when it came to Wish. And boy, let me tell you, they have a lot. Everything on there, I'm just going to go ahead and say it, everything on there is fake. 100% totally fake. There are a lot better fakes than others. Um, and I actually have a very good spread down here, which you can't see because it's out of the frame, um, of some really good hits and some really good misses. Um, I guess the first thing I'll show you, I ended up getting a set of 12 eyeliner slash lip liner pencils. And it's got like a green, it's got a blue, it's got a navy blue, it's got a black, a yellow. Um, I actually have a swatch of all these colors on my Instagram. It's at Catamatamara, which is also the name of this YouTube channel, so it shouldn't be too hard to figure out. I will link that down below in the comments. Some of these colors work out really well. They, glow, they go on very smoothly. Some of them do not. Um, the all-around problem that all of these seem to have, and I'll show you this on the, the darkest one, uh, the paint that tells you what it is really just kind of faded off almost right away after one time in my makeup bag which I mean it's made in China and it's you know very cheap it's also very oily um, composition I can't think of the word at the moment um, and then the twisty thing is not secure it twists from the bottom as you can see and it is retractable, which is nice. Again, it can go on the lips or the eyes. Um, but the, the caps come off really easily, and the twisty things twist. So I do have a purse that the inside is like completely ruined because it fell out of my makeup bag and then got all over my purse. So there was that. Moving right along, um, I did get a set of fake eyelashes. I've never tried fake eyelashes before. I'm actually thinking about doing a video of learning how to do fake eyelashes. Uh, but I liked these. I thought these were pretty. I can't find the eyelash glue that I ordered with them. But uh, they are LC Box. Handmade 10 pairs of lashes. I tried to put one on. Um, actually it's right here. Tried to put it on. Did not succeed, gave up trying, and I will eventually learn how to do this. But yeah, I've never used fake lashes before. Um, I accidentally ordered four of these because I forgot that I ordered one and then ordered three more because I was like, I really need some of this stuff. This is that no mess peel off uh, base that you put around your fingernails when you do stuff like water marbling or stamping or everything like that. Um, I have used it just to help me kind of clean up uh, j just regular simple one color manicure and it it worked but you definitely need tweezers to peel it off with because trying to peel that off with wet nails was a mistake. Uh, but yeah, this is called the Kasako Dokai and they call it anti-overflow glue. Speaking of things that I have multiples of. Uh, one thing that you can get on Wish in abundance are beauty blenders. I, for $2, ordered a set of four. Two of the contoury ones and two of the regular egg ones. 
um, and they came in the four colors. I ordered one set of four and they were two dollars and they accidentally sent me three sets of four. So I am overflowing in beauty blenders. I'm still using the first set. I just, it stayed together really well. I happen to be a ridiculously lucky woman to have a boyfriend that enjoys washing my makeup brushes. Um, it's therapeutic for him and he likes the way that they feel. And he does it a lot better than I do uh, with using a lot less stuff. So there are days when I come home and all of my makeup brushes are spread out across two cookie sheets and it's amazing. But yeah, I have spent a lot of time trying to learn how to use beauty blenders. I've just kind of always been old school, use my Sephora mineral powder brush for just about everything. And uh, I'm finally starting to get the hang of beauty blenders. I did order one of the $1 like concealer palettes. Um, I love using this and I hate using it at the same time. It's definitely worth $1, $2 if you include shipping. Definitely worth it. Completely worth it actually. I hit pan on these two colors. I'm about to hit pan on the uh, this pink that can go under the eye and on the darkest contour shade. I do use it with the Beauty Blender to um, try and learn contouring. The only problem is, is it's also a really oily consistency. The formula is uh, obviously very, I can't even say inexpensive, it's very cheap. So. Um, at the end of the day, like it looks great once you get it on and set it, but at the end of the day, even after setting, it does not stay looking great. But you can kind of see the colors here. I will swatch it. Uh, this is the most common one that you'll see on Wish, and most of the time it's going to come with a set of um, a bunch of different things. Like you'll find them that comes with brush sets, you'll find them that they come with beauty blenders. You'll find them where they come with uh, just face oils or something like that, another another foundation brush. Uh, the one that I ordered uh, came with this miniature beauty blender, which is extremely dirty and I'm sorry, and this brush. I love this brush. It is super, super soft. The only problem is, and I think I fixed it. No, I didn't. Uh, the glue did not stay. However, the brush itself is extremely soft. Um, I'd almost go to say like high quality soft. You can see some of these bristles here. I'm going to try to do that slowly for you. Um, but yeah, that's amazing. I've also got, and don't want to make this video last for forever, so I am going to try to hurry for you. Um, it, they call it BB Blush Balm. Uh, cover flaw paste this thing right here I actually thought it was very clever because it has a little sponge in the bottom that fits but I don't recommend using it like that I just have it there for this because the, um, uh, the it, it's not sanitary if it dries like that it's just gonna get messy I actually don't even like using this sponge with this product which I actually just hit pan on today. I love, it's another one that I love and hate using, but uh, I've been using it as a concealer, like a highlighting concealer, because it is very bright. Um, however, it also, it, it stinks in your pores and it shows your pores very, very easily. Uh, I'm almost done here. I did try to get a Makeup Professional Color Corrector Foundation. I thought the way that they marketed it on the app, they made it look like it was trying to do uh, Makeup Forever. Uh, it itself, uh, it's a little too olive for me, but the, the consistency of the product is just so oily and, and so dewy that trying to rub it in is a nightmare. Trying to blend it is a nightmare. Uh, I've actually given up on using it very much. I might mix it with something that I feel like is a little too dry. Uh, but I, it's just not my favorite thing that I ordered. That was also a dollar. I mean, with all the other stuff I've gotten, 
I'm okay to be out another dollar. This eyeliner is a 36H, which I'm assuming is to mean our uh, eye liquid eyeliner. It is waterproof. It is by far my favorite product I have gotten for a dollar. It lasts for, it's actually what I'm wearing right now. I, after I finished the first one that I bought, I bought three more. And uh, the closest thing I can think of it in comparability to a higher end brand is Testila, the uh, all day wear liquid liner. Uh, it's super awesome. Now, this is what the tip looks like. The one that's currently in my makeup bag, the tip actually looks different. It's sunk in further and it's a different shape. It's not this brush felt tip. But it goes on really well. The first time that I used it, uh, I swatched the two eyeliners that I got. You can see how vibrant and bold that color is. Um, but then after it dried, I was rubbing on it. I actually had it on my hand for three days before I took makeup remover and took it off. It was amazing. It does not run. Uh, this is a liquid lipstick. Uh, the first time I wore it, I hated it because it just, it dried so chalky and, and goopy that I could not get, I, it just, my lips stuck together every time I, you know, moved them. I did find that it worked a lot better if I used a, like a balm or some sort of lip treatment underneath of it. And then topped it with a light gloss just, just lightly to pat it on, which I know kind of defeats the purpose of having a matte uh, liquid lipstick. But I love the color. The color is fantastic. The pigmentation is incredible. It's just the formula just dries out so badly for me. Just ordered this eyebrow stick. It's a little light for me, but it works great as a... Uh, highlighting portion of the eyebrow. I'm not wearing it right now. I'm actually wearing the Anastasia, which is my favorite, which is why I ordered more eyebrow stuff because I don't want to use it up right away. This thing is also retractable as well, which is very nice. And it's thick and it comes in like this chisel tip. I don't know if you can see that incredibly well. Maybe. I have purchased four eyeshadow palettes. They were eyeshadow palettes that I have always wanted. I believe I got them for myself for my birthday. And when I worked at Sephora, you know, I would experiment with these all the time. So I am very familiar with what the original formulas and everything are. But it is uh, the Naked palettes. I have Naked 1 and Naked 2. Naked 3, and Naked Smoky. Um, they all come with the brushes. Uh, the brush, I'm not convinced, is the regular brush for, you know, what this one is. I know Urban Decay sometimes has these very synthetic, uh, just patting brushes. And I just don't think it's quite the right one. However, the packaging is kind of a hit or a miss. The, the original Naked is not amazing. Uh, you can see that, well I don't know if you can see this, but the, the pans inside are not even. It looks like it was kind of slapped together. The mirror is a little warped. Uh, the outside and the boxes looked incredibly real. Uh, that does, and the colors are also a little bit different. And I will have all of these colors swatched as dupes for um, the Urban Decay palettes um, in my Instagram as well. Uh, Naked Two, uh, also like they're just especially Naked Two. Naked Two just kind of came out flat for me with these colors. Of course, they've got all the same names and everything. The brush actually was really nice. And I do use this brush. The mirror is uh, like warped. It's like a funhouse mirror. Naked 3, as far as the formulation goes, is still really close, but not quite. The biggest thing I notice is that the, um, the color Blackheart, yeah, Blackheart does not have the red micro glitter in it that, they, that the original has. 
And that's what tipped me off to this not being a proper, like, legit palette. Um, there are some people that get them that they swear up and down it's the real thing. I don't know how familiar they are with the originals. Uh, for this one, the brush... <laughs> yeah. The brush didn't work out too well. Uh, and it's shedding quite a bit, but, you know, I, it's nothing that a little glue won't fix. But it's also, it's like metal, as opposed to like the, the fitted, really nice, it's, it's not, it doesn't fit together quite perfectly. The Naked Smoky palette, and this is the last thing that um, I will do for this video. I promise I will make shorter videos, this is just my, uh, that was weird. Things are flying across the kitchen. But this is the closest thing that I have to this being a legit dupe. Uh, the colors are really, really close, and across the board, all four of these palettes, here's the brush for it as well, uh, across the board, all of these palettes are just fantastic as far as their pigmentation goes. The colors are just off. But that is all of my wish haul. Again, look at the reviews. Uh, look at the ratings in which, make sure you check uh, the dimension sizes for anything that you order. If you have questions, leave them in the comments. I will be happy to answer and give any advice on buying from Wish that I possibly can. 90% of the time I have been very pleased with what I have gotten and it's kind of like getting a little Christmas present from yourself all year round in the mail. I actually look forward to checking the mail now because there's not bills all the time. It's There's a package from me to me and it's great. So in the comments, leave any questions you have. Leave me uh, anything that you want me to try out. I am open to anything and I'm happy to be here. Uh, like the video if you liked what I had to say. You can always subscribe to my channel. I want to start uploading at least twice a week, maybe once a week until I can get started. Um, but thank you so much if you made it here to the end with me. I love you. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.